All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode five of Harada Bitter Breath's Adventures into Skyrim. Uh, we're down here. We let's see. We just got our brand new armor, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just got our brand new armor. We were in the process of, well, we we can learn a little bit more by talking to all the other people. I think that's kind of boring. Instead, we're going to go and adventure into this new space that we have. Mostly because we're, we're almost at our max carry weight. So I want to see if we can find like a more long-term storage, medium to long-term storage. But also, you will find that as we go around here, that we have all of these guild chests that we discovered yesterday, which are filled with loot. Wow, like really good loot that we're allowed to take. So I hope you're all ready for this. We're gonna go around and we're gonna see what we find right now. We're just gonna take all of this because we need the gold. We're only at like 200 gold, right? Oh my, oh, what? Glass, like enchanted glass arrows. Okay, excellent. We have to make sure because sometimes there's stuff like under or around the beds. <clears throat> what else we got here? Elven arrows. We're gonna have to sell some of our arrows. Poison of fear. We might just sell that. Um, anything in here? No. Oh my goodness! Thank, thank goodness. And out. We have an alchemy table. Nothing in there. Um, too bad that's owned. We are going. Oh, a lantern. We'll take this. We're going to drop off all of our alchemy ingredients here because I don't know how much we're gonna pick up like, you know, as, as we go around, but we need to make sure that we have enough carry space. So that right there decreased our carry weight from like 150 to below 100. So that was totally worth it. Uh, let's see, we can, we'll, we'll take some of the snacks later. This is a book on Shadow Marks, which I think we'll sell because we're, we're looking for things to sell right now. We're poor, right? We'll leave the food there for the future. Um, I think... Let's see, Thieves Guild Crossbow Crafting Manual. Interesting. I don't think there's anything else we can take, right? Nightingales. I don't think there's any good loot in there. Uh, nope, nope. All the notes and stuff we can read later. What we got? Blackbriar Reserve. Not bad. How much? That's uh, 100 points, so fortifies health by 100 points. We might sell that potion. Okay. Not bad. It's a non-expensive book. Uh, here, we'll get rid of that extra lantern just because I'm going to forget about it. There's already two of them in there, so. Po poison of Frenzy. That might come in handy if we pickpocket that onto somebody, right? Like reverse pickpocket. No word yet. That reminds me, there are a few other notes that we have to read out in the common area. Uh, more elven arrows. Nice. Oh my goodness, look, look at all of these. This is ridiculous. What are we gonna do with all of these? Oh, so one of the other great things is that there's Thieves Guild armor kind of kicking around. Like these are worth 247. Um, the hood, right? The hood's worth 500. I think we're gonna take all these to sell them just because we, we need the gold right now. We'll take that too. This looks like permanent storage. Oh, this is our bed. This is like our, this is our bed. Basically, that's permanent storage. So that's interesting. Um, and I think that's it, right? I think that's everything that we managed to loot out, which is great. Not too much gold, but definitely a lot of valuable resources. Now there's a few other things. I have to make sure I'm not, like, disoriented here. Um, no, that's the way out. So this is back up into Ripton. Uh, it's like a the pole chain thing, right? Where is the back rooms? Oh, this is the um, the vault, right? That's where they store all of the, the monies. Apples? Don't care about apples. No, what we really care about is this. Okay, so it's near the alchemy lab. There's a whole other back area that people usually forget about. It's this whole other back room here. And uh, let's see. Oh, hold on for one second. I'm cooking something, so I have to go grab it out of the oven so it doesn't burn. Give me one moment. 
All right, I'm back and we got broccoli, right? Transparent broccoli, ooh, semi-transparent broccoli. That's how you know it's good for you. Mm. Okay, anyway. Hey, let's talk a second. So this is our pickpocket trainer, right? That's good. Mm. Let's see. Does the guild provide other service? Does it? I'll point you to the first and last person you're ever going to need to talk to. Tonilia. She's the Yeah, we already talked to her. Treat her right, and she'll make you rich. Try and rip her off, and you'll have the whole guild to answer to. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Up to no good, are we? Uh, see, I'll we're we're starting you, to get but starting cost. to get a lot more expensive with our training. Especially past level 30. So the really valuable part about down here is all of these chests, which once you pickpocket them, or excuse me, not pickpocket, you unlock them. Let's see if I can get one really quickly. There, There isn't any loot in them, but it's perfect for training because they automatically relock. And this, like we didn't really, we didn't join the Thieves Guild with John and Eric, so this is absolutely fantastic to have access to all of these different chests that we can train with. Now, I believe if we go around here, watch this cabbage. Um, oh, okay, so we have, looks like more armor, right? Um, anything else? We have, yeah, here's one of the chest plates with extra carry weight worth 600 gold, so we'll take a set of that. And yeah, here it is. One one other chest right back here hiding, right? With some extra lockpicks. Some little gold. So a bunch of stuff that we have to sell. A lot of stuff that we have to sell. Um I don't think there's any other loot. I mean, oh here we go. Oh, this was a a lock picking book. So we'll take that. I think we just gotta level up, so we, we wouldn't get any levels. Um, excellent. So I think what we're gonna do, right? is we're level 10 we we only have like one training level left to go what i'd really like to do is and i mentioned this i don't know if i mentioned this in the last episode or after we were done recording but i'd really like to get lock picking up to level 45. this will allow us or maybe even up to 50 if we can just do it really quickly um, because that extra gold is going to be very valuable but at the very least being able to do expert level locks here expert level locks will be really important for just going out like generally in the world it'll also push up our total level which will increase our health which increases our carry weight and you know move, moves us closer to being able to actively use our stealth abilities in combat right now we can't really do that we're too low level um, we can't engage directly with enemies but we just need more practice basically so I think what we'll do is we're gonna do a little bit of grinding right now. We're gonna try and get to level 45 in lock picking. Um, that'll take maybe like five to eight minutes, who knows. And then what we'll do is we'll go up top and we'll sell all of these new items that we picked up. Um, God, we have, in, in some cases we have uh, three of all of them, that's fantastic. So we'll, we'll get our uh, inventory organized a little bit more. So until then, we'll we'll get practicing on, I think this one, right? These, this is, uh, what is it? Oh, so we don't have the ability to, to do these yet. Well, we'll figure out which of these is most appropriate for our skill level. Probably these ones. I think this might be it. No. Oh, yeah, there, <laughs> there we go, excellent. Um, I was like, what the heck? Nice little... Wait, did we automatically level up too? That's super weird. Like, we automatically leveled up too. Um, okay, great. No, that, like... Where did our, our perk point go into? Like for our attribute, like health, stamina? I, I guess it was automatically assigned. I don't know. Um, works for me, right? So there we go. We made it to uh, expert level locks, right? Excellent. That didn't take too long. It's like, you know, maybe like 10 minutes, but 
The, uh, I think this was a really great way of designing this because the, like if we were trying on, let's, these are expert, right? Yeah, when you, so we can attempt now expert locks, but when, oh my God, we were really close to getting that. Basically when you break the lock pick, it kicks you right out and it prevents you from like infinitely trying. So you you definitely end up going through like a lot more lock picks, and I think it's really balanced. I really like this mechanic. I'm happy that we found it. So we're gonna go upstairs. We uh, we don't have any other ingredients in our inventory, right? Which is good. And we're gonna go and sell all of our goods because we've already sold all of our stolen goods. So I guess we'll uh, yeah we'll we'll take this path, right? The new legitimate path we have outside, so we don't have to run through the the rat way every time anymore. What a pain in the butt that is. My goodness. We're also really close to level 12. So we're going to need to get some training too. We'll, uh, we'll see what training we can get once we actually have money. How do you close this? Do you have to like pull the chain again and then run up? Yeah, I guess that's a good way of doing it. There we go. Thieves Guild discovered. Nice. Ooh, nice shade. Yeah, pick a couple of these. Thank you very much. Goodness. Well, I can't take any of that. Nice. Harvesting from the dead. That's one of our specialties. All right, let's go sell some stuff. All right, let's sell some of our mage's robes up at the... Uh, up at the keep, right? Have our scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Yeah, we don't care about them. An appointment? No. It was a delivery? I can't mm. remember. We, uh, what do you have for sale? You, you wish to master the arcane arts. Lots of stabs, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> you know, these scrolls might be really valuable. What? We can't sell any of our uh, robes. That's kind of a surprise. We can sell all the books though. So we'll do that. I guess the paper rules. I don't expect us to need a common soul gem anytime soon. I'd rather have the gold right now. Um, that's too bad. Okay. Yeah, we we have all of these like mages robes right here. That's what I was hoping now, to where sell did to I her. Get those spiders. Hmm. Well, since she's out here. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, <laughs> just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. Shh. Be very, very quiet. Oh my god, was that like three frost salts? Those worker tusks. I don't think we can really use that. Um, excellent. Anything else we're missing? Nope. Uh, ah. yeah, we'll take it. Why not? Why not? I uh, have a wonderful day. We uh, well, we couldn't sell our items, but we could certainly take a few. <clears throat> let's uh, let's quickly do this quest over here because we know it's pretty good, right? Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. Only a dagger for the son of the Jarl? If you must know, I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. Mm. My blade bit right into the stonework next to the keep and needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most appreciative. Thank you. Yeah, okay, Do I'll get it for you. Please. All right, then. Now, depending on how valuable this blade is, we might just keep it for ourselves, right? That's one of the reasons we do fetch quests. Hello. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Yeah, I'm here to pick up a sword. Lazy good for nothing, isn't he? Sent you down here when I'm a stone's throw from the keep. Here's the sword. <laughs> Tell Harald to stop slaying walls, and perhaps his blade will stay in better condition. 
It's one of my favorite lines. Oh, it's a steel sword. Left. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Let's get rid of some of the stuff in our inventory here. Um, we have all of these really fancy arrows. We're definitely not going to use the elven ones. We'll just sell them for cash. The glass are as good as the orcish, but are worth way more. So we're just going to sell those for cash too. Hey, we even got a, a speech level up and we're really close to getting a total level. As for all this, yeah, I say we, we're definitely not going to use our scaled boots anymore because the we're, I, I'd like to keep the pickpocketing ones. I think it's worth just kind of keeping those for now. I say we just sell the rest of these, right? I mean, we don't, I'd rather have the armor than the carrying capacity. And we're also definitely going to upgrade from a freaking imperial body, right? The gloves are just so, I mean, look look at these, right? Like we're sticking with these. Pickpocketing is 20% easier. Like those are amazing. And then the hoods haggling for 10% better prices. <sighs> yeah, I guess we'll keep one of those. Right, but the rest of these will sell. And now we're up to 2,800 gold. So that was totally worth it. Um, excellent. Is there anything else worth buying from him? Right, maybe a better dagger or something like that. I don't really see anything. Um, okay. If you need any more smithing, excellent. Work, come see me again. We'll return that sword, and you will all see why we definitely love this quest. If this isn't about official city, yeah, 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 we have time getting it to me. <laughs> Here you go for your trouble. This was so dramatic, right? So he gave us a flawed amethyst, mm -hmm. or flawless amethyst, and an amber, right? Sometimes he'll just give you a diamond, right? Because he's like, oh, you want a diamond? Here, here you go, bro. It's ridiculous. How much is a flawed am or a flawless amethyst worth? Worth like 150 gold, right? So it was like 200 gold just to run an item over. It's not bad. <laughs> so we're getting evasion training because you gonna buy something or we... just here for training? Otherwise, move on. Excuse me. We um really need to get our evasion level up to like level 50 preferably to expert levels at 75 because the more perks that we can get for light armor the less likely we are to die when we're hit so that's why like it's you know the best de best offense is a good defense right and so i'd really rather not have this character die while we're running away so we do need to make sure we have as many levels in evasion as possible So that's probably worth it. Probably. And there we go. We're already halfway to level 13. What are we going to put our perk in? One thing I'm kind of disappointed about is that we can't put the perk into here because we're not dragonborn. Um, so damage by enemy shouts is reduced by 50%. This is such a good perk. But you can't take it if you're not dragonborn. Wah, wah. Or uh, maybe you... Well, no, because I think not being dragon more disables the main quest line so like that's it right half the tree is disabled bum, bum, bum. oh well we could put it into sneak we could put it into marksman we barely used our bow at all honestly um so we probably won't do that smithing is just kind of like an extra support thing and i don't see us using any of these other abilities I guess one option is putting it for 10% uh, better prices with the opposite gender. It's not a bad plan. But I think... Yeah, why don't we do that? We're, we're kind of in the process of trying to max out our gold. The next one will be into light armor, which makes you quieter. Maybe it is better to be uh, quieter. Specifically, 15% quieter. Again, I think it comes down to survivability, so that's going to take priority, right? Um, now that we've leveled up, we can all day or buy I'll teach get you how to more use levels, it. right? Keep you quick uh, we're gonna freaking burn through all of our gold, which is very frustrating, but... Oh, we can only do four levels. And we're poor again. 
just like that, we're poor again. But, uh, but at least we're leveling up, right? Mm. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Let's see if there's some other place we can't steal from. Um, how about all of the mead from here, right? Well, are there any stolen goods that we can sell? Um, I know we stole a lot of ingredients, right? That was pretty much it, so... Yeah, lots of frost salts, right? Three three things of frost salts. Let's see if we can't steal from the Blackbriar Meadery here a little bit. Hmm. I mean, it's only valued at 12 gold each. But if you have, like, 50 of them, that'd be 500 gold, right? Nobody can see us. No! Ah! Get! Crap, 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 crap. Oh, how do we get out? Up and out. You have committed crimes against oh, no. people. What say you in your defense? Oh, oh, she's gonna, he's gonna take away all of our frost salts. He's gonna take away like a thousand gold worth of stuff. Oh, how about I pay you some gold and you look the other way. So we have to pay, we only have to pay like an extra 10 gold. So we're basically just gonna pay it directly to him. All right, all right. Just keep your voice down and don't let me catch you again. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Look, look. We still, we got to keep our frost salts. We got to keep a thousand gold in frost salts. Oh my god, that's freaking awesome. Let's here. We're we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go down and uh, deposit or or use. How about we use a bunch of our ingredients that we have here, just so that like we we really shouldn't have been doing that with so much valuable stolen goods in our inventory. So we're gonna go downstairs and uh, we're gonna see what we can craft with all the ingredients we have now. And, and then we'll come back and uh, steal a bunch of stuff from the place. <laughs> all right, we'll sell all of the potions we made. Let me know if you see anything you like. There aren't any trainers you here. Lessons like Ingen? So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients. Yep, same old, same old stock of stuff. All right, let's sell what we have here. So these we decided we were actually gonna use our, oh no, this is uh, damage regen, like um, Magicka regen. We realized we could sell those. Oh, I have 10 of them. Yeah, we'll, we'll sell these individually. And this, oh, oh no, they're out of gold. <laughs> They're out of gold? They only have like 400 gold? Maybe it's just this guy yes, in particular. Yes, this place has seen... ah, so you're so an they weren't alchemist. kidding when they said this place has seen better days. Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey. Ah. Why can't we use some of that gold? Ah. So frustrating. Well, you have anything valuable back here? We need more gold. Yes, we're gonna steal from the elderly couple. That's what we're doing, okay? That's who we are. We need gold. We need the gold, we take the gold. Life is very simple for us. A bit more, maybe? Whoa! Oh yeah, this is an adept lock. Okay. There we go. Nice. Five, 500 gold? Couldn't have bought my potions and stuff. That's okay. I mean, they gave us a decent amount after all, so. Still visible. We need some invisibility potions. Oh. 
Anything else we can reach from here? Doesn't look like anything exceptionally valuable, though. But that's okay. All right, have a good day. We sold what we could. Gemstones over here. So we're up to 800 gold. You gonna buy something? We can do I'll one more. One more. Oh my god! Look how expensive feet. it is. It's up to like 1,200 gold per level. We can't afford that. Throw it into smithing, except he's not here. Right? Goodness. Come to see Balaman. You wish to do what I do? Very well. Pay him 200 gold, right? Excuse me. All right, so where are we going to put our new perk here? We might want to stick it into alchemy. The, um... Maybe marksman? I don't know. No, we'll put it into speech because we... We need the money. We're out of money. We're short on it. So, desperately need that. And I'm also remembering that we have dark vision here that we can cast. And that basically just kind of runs passively. So it it has an upkeep and that's how you get your uh, your XP. So we'll just, just to kind of showcase how that works. Um, we are at you know, very close to a level up, as a matter of fact, as we just kind of keep it. And there it is, there's level up to level seven, right? Just just by having it up. So it's a pretty simple way for us to gain gain some XP while we're kind of running around, I guess. <laughs> now, the very last thing we'll do, uh, we can't do that. We could go turn that in. Why don't we go talk to Delvin here? And uh, he's he's down in the guild. So, I really wish the dark vision would work, but it just doesn't seem to. It seems incredibly broken. So, it's too bad. We'll have the guard just kind of follow us right down here, I bet, because we're being observed by the guard. So, so let's talk to Delvin here and see what he has to Read say. Read your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Uh, I can use some advice, right? I think we're, we're willing to listen to what these people have See, to say. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long this enough to enjoy it. it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet, you say. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. A curse? Uh, what can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Hmm. All right. Now we just did a level up. Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. But we don't have that much gold. So that's gonna be tough. And once it gets above level 30, things get way more expensive. Uh, I heard you're offering extra work. I handle the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Hmm. Um. We'll talk about those in the next episode. We'll learn about all the different jobs we can do and stuff like that. Could I but, give uh, you a little tip? Just take every job you can get, or else you'll end up a beggar. 
that's pretty good advice. But we are running a bit long today and I don't want to make a 50 minute video like last time. So thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.